Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking my fastest burning tobacco out of my largest pipe. Is this going to be a much longer or a much shorter smoke sesh than not? Well, I don't know, but the goal of today's video is to find out. And I certainly am looking forward to finding out, I will admit. Although, I do kind of already have an expectation for how this is going to turn out. And I will admit, I do expect this to be a much shorter smoke sesh than not as a whole. Even though today, I'm going to be smoking out of the largest pipe that I own. Which is my Missouri Meerschaum The General Corn Cob Pipe which is six millimeter filtered and has a chamber depth of around about two inches. By far, this is the largest pipe that I own. And it is just a really large pipe in general. And when you smoke most pipe tobaccos out of it, you get a much longer smoke sesh than not. But I'm not expecting that in today's video, frankly put, because today I'm gonna be smoking some Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco, which is a much faster burning pipe tobacco than not. Five Brothers is a straight burly shag cut blend of pipe tobacco. And due to the finely cut nature of shag cut tobaccos as a whole, they do burn much faster than not. And out of one of my smaller pipes, I get a, generally speaking, 10 to 15 minute smoke sesh out of this pipe tobacco right here. Honestly, today I am expecting a maximum of a 30 minute smoke sesh. So while I am expecting a longer smoke sesh than not when compared to smoking this tobacco out of one of my smaller pipes, I'm still not expecting a particularly long smoke sesh by any means, especially for the size of this pipe right here. But there's only one way to find out just how long or just how short this smoke sesh is actually going to be. And that's to, well, actually smoke some of my Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco out of my Missouri Meerschaum The General Corn Cob Pipe. But I don't have any tobacco in my pipe as of yet. So I do suppose, without further ado, I should probably first off go ahead and actually get some tobacco in my pipe. Then after that, I should probably go ahead and pack it down, put some more tobacco in pack it down again. Then after that, I suppose I should probably go ahead and get the tobacco all lit up and actually get to smoking and find out just how long or just how short this smoke sesh is actually going to be. I'm looking forward to finding out, and I'm also looking forward to finding out just how much of a buzz I'm going to get, as this tobacco is much more buzz-inducing than not. And I'm also just looking forward to finding out just how good or just how bad this experience today is actually going to be. But without further ado, I do suppose I should probably go ahead and actually start to get in some tobacco in my pipe. And to do that, I have a couple different materials that are going to help me today. I've got my rolling tray right here. This is an Odagiri rolling tray that I bought at a thrift shop uh, near me. Although it does say Japan on the back of the rolling tray. So I assume the brand is either from Japan or this was made in Japan or something like that kind of thing. Not exactly sure, but I do like this rolling tray much more so than not. And it's great for making sure I don't spill tobacco everywhere. And today I've also got my check pipe tool right here that's going to help me tamp down all of the tobacco. And then, of course, I've also got my mason jar that actually has the Five Brothers pipe tobacco in it. I do have the pouch of Five Brothers with me today as well, but there's no tobacco in this pouch because I wanted to put it in my mason jar to make sure it stays a little bit more fresh than not. I'm going to go ahead and put my water bottle that I've got to the side of me on the pouch just so it doesn't fly away or anything like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, there was some sand on the bottom of the mason jar. I'm going to go ahead and try to get that off my rolling tray real quick if I possibly can. There we go. With some of that off now, let's go ahead and put my pipe and put my pipe tool back down. And let's go ahead and now get the lid off of my mason jar. Let's just go ahead and just pop it off just like that. Let's go and give this tobacco a little bit of a sniff. And to say the least, it smells much better than not. I'm getting a really nice smell of coca with a little bit of sweetness in there as well. Smells fantastic. And just taking a look at the tobacco, we can tell that it is much more finely cut tobacco than not. It is a shag cut pipe tobacco after all. And Five Brothers pipe tobacco is oof, quite strong to say the least. It is very buzz inducing stuff. I'm hoping I don't get overwhelmed by a buzz today, but that is a possibility. Well, 
I'm gonna go ahead and just start taking pinches of the Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco, and I'm just gonna start dropping them in my pipe. I just dropped a little bit with that one, so I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with the future pinches I throw in my pipe, and something is biting my leg. I feel like, at least, I felt like something was biting my leg. I'm not sure if something actually was. It might have just been my imagination. Go and grab another little bit of a pinch, though, and let's go ahead and throw this in my pipe once again. I'm just gonna fill it up, gravity style, and then once it's all the way towards the top, I'm gonna go ahead and just tamp it down lightly, and then I'm gonna fill it up again, and then tamp it down again. That's the plan, at least. And I think I can put just a little bit more in this pipe, so let's go ahead and do that real quick and there we go so we're all the way filled up to the top now let's go ahead and now take my pipe tool that i've got right here and let's just tamp it down uh, maybe i need to do a little bit more than gravity tamp this pipe is really big so loading it can be a little bit awkward sometimes so let's just do a little bit more than a gravity tamp just like that i think that should be all good now just tamp down to around about there let's go ahead and now grab another pinch and let's load this up once again and we're now all the way loaded up to the top now so let's go ahead and just tamp it down a little bit harder this time just like that and let's go ahead and put a little bit more in got to fill it all the way up to the top of course and i'm just grabbing it of course shag cut pipe tobacco it likes to stick together and whatnot so i'm having to kind of rip it apart just a little bit i'm just gonna put a little bit more in there and we are pretty much all the way filled up to the top now i'm gonna go and just tamp this down just a little bit more and I think that's just about all I can fit in it I'm afraid if I put any more in when I actually start to get it light up or lit up I'm afraid if I put any more in that I'm getting more jumbled jumbled up I'm afraid that if I put any more in when I actually light up the pipe tobacco that it's kind of just going to kind of expand and go everywhere as pipe tobacco does expand when you first light it up so I'm going to go and put that down now and I'm going to go ahead and put all of the tobacco that fell down on top of my rolling tray back in the mason jar and whatnot. If I lose a little bit, it's not too big a deal by any means. And I did lose a little bit. A little bit of, his, uh, little bit of it is kind of on my pants and on the ground and whatnot. But it's not too big of a deal. Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco is pretty cheap stuff. So I'm not terribly concerned about it by any means. But I'm just going to go ahead and put my rolling tray back down on the ground. And go ahead and grab my pipe now and now that I've got it all filled up I do suppose now I should probably go ahead and grab my lighter out of my pocket just like that just got a pink Arizona Bic lighter with me today you know got to keep the swag on me you know what I'm saying but without further ado let's go ahead and get the pipe tobacco in this pipe right here all it up and let's go ahead and find out just how long of a smoke sesh the fastest burning pipe tobacco that I currently own actually gives me when smoked out of the largest pipe that I currently own. Well, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to smoking, y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. And right off the bat, even though this does have a little bit of a six millimeter filter on it, I did get a little bit of a pull through. That's okay, though. It ain't no biggie. Wow. Yeah, a little bit of pull through, I guess, because the uh, tobacco is uh, much more finely cut than not. Lots, lots of bits and pieces kind of like to pull through. That's what just happened to me. Not super pleasant, but it is what it is. Let's go and get this lit up once again. That was just supposed to be a starter light, but that might have done for an official light. I'm not exactly sure. One thing I do have to keep in mind with Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco is that it is a little bit finicky with how it smokes, so I've got to make sure I baby it a little bit in today's video. Especially since as I get lower on in this pipe, it's going to get to be a pain to light back up. And I've also got to make sure I smoke a little bit slower than not as well. Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco gets especially rough when you burn it a little bit too fast. So got to make sure I smoke it a little bit slower than not. But even with me smoking a little bit slower than not, and even with me talking a little bit during today's video, I'm still expecting a much faster smoke session than not. But it could very well be wrong. Who knows in all honesty? Who knows? I think. I think it's already gone out. 
Yeah, you do gotta baby this pipe tobacco just a little bit. I'm gonna go and just tamp that down and I'm gonna go ahead and just get this lit up once again. And that was a little bit rough right there. A pleasant roughness, not too rough by any means, but rough nonetheless. <laughs> and right now, I'm getting a very nice, sort of mildly sweet coca cigar-like taste from the Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco. It's very much the same taste I've gotten from it previously, and it's a really nice taste as a whole. It's a little bit one-dimensional, but it's a very pleasant taste nonetheless. And right off the bat as well, I am definitely starting to feel a little bit of nicotine. I am a little bit scared that I might get a little bit overwhelmed by nicotine in today's video because this is a huge pipe and there's a lot of Five Brothers in this pipe. But uh, I hope I don't, I hope I don't get, I hope I don't get nicotine sick or anything like that kind of thing. That wouldn't be very good. But I am expecting to get a pretty good buzz and I'm already feeling a little bit of the buzz just because Five Brothers is much stronger pipe tobacco than not. One bad habit of mine that I tend to do a lot more so than not is I tend to over tamp. It's just any time I feel like I need to, I, I tend to tamp. Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco, while you do need to tamp it every once in a while, you don't really need to tamp it all that often, and I tend to tamp it too much, which leads to it going out a little bit more so than not. So I'm going to try to be really careful in today's video, and I'm going to try to make sure I don't over tamp it by any means. Only tamping when I truly feel like is necessary. Even though this is an experimental smoke sesh, I still want to make sure I get the best possible smoke sesh I can. You know, trying to clench this pipe. Man, oh man, let me tell y'all what. It is much heavier than not. This, this pipe is really heavy. It's just huge. It's just so heavy. Just trying to clench it. Oh man, it's... It's a little bit difficult to clench. It's probably one of the, it's it's one of if not the most difficult pipe I currently own to clench. Whew, excuse me. Definitely getting a little bit of roughness in the back of my throat, for sure. I think I might be smoking a little bit fast right now, and I'm starting to get the nagging urge to go ahead and tamp this, but I don't think it needs to be tamped. It's still smoking just fine, so why would I tamp it? I'm expecting, as a whole, this smoke sesh to be under 30 minutes. I got this pipe lit up around the eight, nine minute mark. I think I've been smoking for about five, six minutes so far. And so I'm expecting a 20 to 25 minutes. I'm expecting 20 to 25 minutes more of a smoke sesh. We'll have to find out if that actually comes true or not. Might not. This might be like a 15 minute smoke sesh or something like that kind of thing. That would be especially amusing. I doubt it though.
One thing I gotta be careful about is I gotta make sure I uh, don't pull too hard either. Five Brothers really doesn't like that. It starts to burn a little bit hot if you pull too hard, so gotta be careful because otherwise, if you, if you do that, it gets really rough really fast. So I gotta make sure I pull very lightly. Like lighter than I would, would suck out of a suck water out of a straw or something like that kind of thing. Don't take that clip out of context. Don't do it. That's illegal. I will sue you. Just kidding, I don't have enough money to sue. <laughs> Although, I'll sue you nonetheless. And there we go. Definitely needed to be tamped right there. We can see we are about that far through the smoke so far. So we are about, I'd have to say, one fifth of the way through the smoke so far. If this pace keeps up, I'd have to say, probably gonna be round about, probably gonna be round about 25 to 30 minute smoke sesh. It's kind of what I'm thinking at least, could be wrong. This is good stuff though, and I will admit, I am feeling quite buzzed. <laughs> I really am feeling quite buzzed right now. Five Brothers, it's some really strong pipe tobacco. I'm really enjoying this. This stuff works, it's such good tobacco out of a corn cob pipe. It tastes so good out of a corn cob pipe, and it's smoking great out of my the general corn cob pipe, frankly put. It's smoking just fantastic out of this pipe, and it's given me a very nice buzz. <laughs> I'm feeling quite buzzed right now. I've gotten a very nice, relaxing, sort of pipe tobacco buzz going on right now, yet also at the same time just a little bit uh, surprisingly almost uh, cigarette-like as well, where I'm feeling a little bit uh, sort of energetic at the same time, kind of odd. Uh, I don't normally get that from a lot of pipe tobaccos, but I'm kind of getting that from Five Brothers, and I've gotten that from Five Brothers before, so I'm not terribly surprised, but overall mainly a relaxing pipe tobacco type buzz, really nice buzz if I do say so myself, and a little bit bigger than not as well. I do believe there we go it almost went out went ahead and babied it back to life got him got him trying to be careful to make sure I don't let it go out too much in today's video Overall, how is this experience so far? That's a really good one. Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco, it's some pretty good stuff. It's a little bit more one-dimensional than not taste-wise, but it's just great pipe tobacco as a whole, frankly put. Not the most interesting, but just good pipe tobacco, and this is just a good smoke sesh. And uh, so far, it's definitely a little bit longer of a smoke sesh than out of a smaller pipe. If I smoked Five Brothers out of a smaller pipe, this smoke sesh would probably already be approaching its end. But since, since I'm smoking out of a larger pipe today, that is not the case. That is not the case. Had a little bit of a bug on the back of my neck. The bugs, they're definitely not great today, frankly put. It's great weather out here. Looking a little bit scarily cloudy over there. I'm afraid it might rain. Don't want to jinx myself. Knock on, knock on wood, there's a little bit of a stick on the ground. But, um... But, um, 
weather today is pretty nice, temperature-wise. It's pretty nice in the shade, at least. It's a bit too warm in the sun, if you ask me. But it is very humid, and hence the bugs are loving the weather today. Which is not it, to say the least. go went ahead and babied it back to life once again and I think now I should probably go ahead and grab myself a little bit of a screenshot I think I probably should so let's get my sunnies on and let's grab myself a little bit of a screenshot for this video y'all Oh, my pipe's starting to heat up quite a bit. I think I am smoking a bit fast, in all honesty. I do tend to have a faster uh, candence than not, I will admit. But not too bad by any means. I'm starting to get a little bit of tongue bite, but that's okay. Well... I hope that one of those will do as a screenshot. We will find out. We will find out. I'm gonna go and put the Five Brothers pouch in my backpack, just so I don't have to worry about it, just in case it blows away or something like that. Don't wanna have to run after it by any means. And uh, let's go ahead and see if I can baby this back to life once again. I think it's trying to go out once again. Even though Five Brothers is shag cut pipe tobacco, it does like to go out a little bit more so than not. there's like a sorority get together going on over there or something like that kind of thing i'm not exactly sure i have no clue and i'd have to say right now we're about right there we're probably right about there. So the end of the pipe is right about there. So I'd have to say we're almost halfway through the smoke sesh so far. And that's just where the ash is. I'm sure it might be below that, like where the hottest part of the pipe is. It's right about ooh, there. So I'd have to say we're a little bit over halfway. Honestly, we are smoking a little bit slower than I was kind of thinking we were going to be smoking in today's video. I think this might be actually a little bit longer of a smoke sesh than I was expecting it to be. Huh, interesting. Uh -oh. A little bit of thunder going on over there, but it's currently blue skies above me, so uh, start sprinkling or raining. I'm going to run back there. I think I should be able to hide like back there or right over there for a couple minutes and whatnot. Don't think it should be too big a deal by any means. But I um, hope it doesn't start raining. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. I hope it doesn't start raining. So there's a branch next to me, so I am knocking on wood. Dead wood, for sure, but wood, wood nonetheless. Let's go and get this lit up once again, because I do think it's gone full yellow. Actually, let's try to baby it to life first, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, it's out. Let's get this lit once again, y'all.
Man, I'm starting to feel really buzzed though. <laughs> like I've been a little bit quiet as a whole during today's video just because I have been feeling quite buzzed. I'm starting to feel an even bigger buzz now. Like just that last two hit, those last two or three hits really got me good. I'm feeling quite buzzed to say the least. This Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco hit is some stronger stuff than not. I'm enjoying myself. Just had to stare into y'all's soul just for a moment there. Had to do it to him. Had to do it to him, you know. Gotta stare into gotta stare into people's souls every once in a while. You know, I'm in a stoplight and I look over and I start staring into the soul of the person in the car next to me. Just creep him out. And then I just drive off. Like they get out, sometimes they get out of the car and they're like, yo, what the hell? And I just drive off. No, I'm just kidding, I don't do that. <laughs> if somebody did that to me, I would be so weirded out. Had a lot of spit in my mouth. I don't normally spit. I don't normally like to spit when I'm smoking tobacco products unless I get Scooby Snacks, but uh, really was just feeling the need there. Excuse me. <clears throat> but, but, yeah, if somebody, if somebody was just staring at me at a stoplight, <laughs> just staring into my soul, I'd be like, yo, what the hell? I would be so creeped out. I could not do that to other people. I am not, I am not that, I am not that person. <laughs> And this has gone out once again. Keep smoking till I can't no more. That's what I'd be saying at least. I'm seeing somebody, somebody in front of me, they forgot a bottle opener. So they're trying to get their bottle open on a, uh, on a sign at the park. I see what they're doing. They're about to be day drinking. Yes, sir. Oh man. Regret not bringing a drink with me then. Somebody else is day drinking. All of a sudden I want a day drink too, but uh, I ain't got no drink with me. So it is what it is. Happy to see other people enjoying day drinking and smoking cigarettes. Well, I don't know if they're gonna be smoking, but at least day drinking in a public park. Look at, uh, I'm uh, looking forward to it. I'm not day drinking. I'm, 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 I'm getting more jaw jumbled up. I am a little bit buzzed. I'm happy to see other people day drinking in a park. Now that's what I'm talking about. And this has gone out again. It's going out so quick that I think we might almost be done, frankly put. We might almost be done. I'm gonna give it another couple lights. And then after that, I'm gonna kind of swish it around and whatnot and get some of the tobacco off the top just to see how much I really have left. I'm thinking we might actually be almost done though because it's going out quite fast now, even with me tamping it down and make sure it's all good and everything like that kind of thing. And when a tobacco starts going out a lot faster than not and you can't really keep it lit very well, it's either due to a packing problem, which I don't think it is in this scenario, or it's because you're pretty much almost done and you're just trying to smoke ash now.
There we go. Babied it back to life just a little bit. I can definitely say that Five Brothers is uh, definitely a pipe tobacco you have to pay attention to a little bit more so than not. It's not quite like uh, Prince Albert where it just burns no matter what. You'd think it would because it's shag cut, but it doesn't. Like uh, Prince Albert, you just kind of throw it in your pipe and you're just good. Doesn't matter if you tamp it, just, you just light it up and you just go kind of thing. Um, Five Brothers, not so much. You do have to kind of actively pay attention to it. Maybe it's just because I haven't gotten used to smoking it yet, but yeah. You know. But still getting smoke. Still getting smoke, so I'm thinking I'm still all good. Don't think we're done quite yet. I was thinking around about the 28 minute mark that we might be almost done because it's kind of struggling to stay lit, but now now we're back to smoking, so I think we're all good for another couple minutes or so. Hopefully, hopefully I didn't just jinx myself. It is starting to get a little bit rougher though, so I can definitely tell we're approaching the end. It really is a nice day today though. It is nice. It was a little bit warm earlier, but now it's feeling great out here. A little bit humid, don't get me wrong, but it's still feeling good out here. Whew, having a good time, having a good time. And I am buzzed. I'm having a, I'm, I'm enjoying a nice, nice buzz right now. Having a good time, time to say the least, and uh, enjoying my smoke. This is just so solid. This is just so solid and honestly, I'm really enjoying this. I gotta find out how Five Brothers is when rolled into a cigarette though. Gotta find out. I bet it would be really rough, but pretty solid. I gotta find out. I gotta try that. I gotta try that. As a whole, I'm getting a very nice cocoa-y, savory, mildly sweet, cigar-like taste. Really nice. One-dimensional taste, don't get me wrong, but a really nice taste nonetheless. I'm honestly surprised it is still smoking though. I really am surprised. I really was not expecting this long of a smoke. I guess we're not even at the 30 minute mark, technically speaking, because I only got this lit up around about the 78 minute mark. It's currently around about the 34 minute mark. So I'm honestly surprised, but, but so I guess I really shouldn't be too surprised it's still smoking, but yet still, I am surprised. I am surprised. I'm, it was honestly, just with how it was smoking, I was kind of expecting it to burn a little bit uh, faster than it actually is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm feeling quite buzzed. <laughs> I'm feeling good. This is a good smoke sesh. If y'all want a good buzz, get a general and get some uh, Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco. You'll have a good time. Okay. 
I gotta admit though, I think this is the way to smoke. I think this is the way to smoke Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco. It's just a little bit too, it's a little bit too fast burning when smoked out of one of my smaller pipes that I generally enjoy smoking slower burning tobacco out of. But out of this giant pipe, honestly, it's just about perfect. It's, it's really good, frankly put. I gotta try smoking Five Brothers out of like a really wide pipe as well. Because while this pipe is really big and while it is really deep, it's not very wide by any means. It's the same chamber diameter as one of my smaller corn cob pipes. So it's not a very wide pipe. I wonder how Five Brothers would be when smoked out of a out of a wide pipe. That'd probably be interesting. Might have to try that. Hmm, not getting too much. I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and relight it again. Trying to make sure I smoke it all the way to fruition. We are currently at about, ooh, right there. So I think that's where like the hotness on the pipe is. So I think we are just about done, frankly put. Glad I had some food before this video. Otherwise, my stomach would be not very happy right now, to say the least. You definitely want some food on your stomach before you smoke some Five Brothers. It's some strong stuff. It's like American Spirit Black Strong. It is solid pipe tobacco, nicotine-wise. Man, just a solid pipe tobacco as a whole. Wasn't expecting a big plume of smoke there, but I got one. Like some pipe tobacco, I can retrohale just fine. I can retrohale cigarettes just fine. I can retrohale some pipe tobacco just fine. Five Brothers, though, is just so rough when you try to retrohale. It, it's, it comes across like a cigar. That's how rough it is. And it has sort of a cigar-y taste, so I guess I shouldn't really be too surprised. But it's rough enough like a cigar where it kind of hurts to retrohale. I got to get used to it. I genuinely am so impressed it is still smoking though. We are now over the 30 minute mark, I think. I think we're now over the 30 minute mark and it's still smoking. Like we're definitely getting towards the end. I can tell, I can see we're getting towards the end, but um, <clears throat> it's still smoking. I This is honestly burning a little bit slower than I thought it was going to out of my largest pipe, out of this pipe right here. It's definitely still burning faster than not. Like if I had smoked up, if I was trying to smoke like, like, like really long smoking tobacco, like a flake cut pipe tobacco or something like that out of this pipe, this would probably be like a two hour long smoke sesh. So this is still burning a lot faster than not, but actually slower than I thought it was going to. And it has gone out. If I can baby it back to life. Nah, there's no babying it back to life this time. Gotta use my lighter again. But still getting smoke. Seeing the ash is turning pretty much straight black. 
So, and it's not really tamping down much more anyway. There's a little bit of a squirrel back there. I don't know if y'all can see it. It's like right, right there. A little bit of a squirrel. Oh, there's two of them actually. There's two squirrels. I will admit, this experience is making me. <clears throat> Like, I'd have to say, out of all the pipe tobacco I've tried, Five Brothers is one of the strongest, for sure. But it's not, like, overwhelmingly strong, unlike some cigarettes I've had. Like, like, like American Spear Black cigarettes can be overwhelming at times. This is not overwhelmingly strong. It's just really nice. I low-key want to find, like, I think it's the, like, Samuel Goleth Black, Twix, Black Twist XX is supposed to be, like the strongest pipe tobacco ever or something like that there's also the mac baron hh old dark fired um i think i i think i might have a tin of that i think i need to try that as well and then i think five brothers is up there as well but i gotta try the sam mcgoleth black twix set black twist xx because it's supposed to be like one of the strongest if not the strongest pipe tobacco ever apparently it looks like dog poo <laughs> Cause it comes in like a twist, like in a roll. But uh, apparently it's apparently it's good stuff that's just like chock full of nicotine. So this, this experience is making me want to try that stuff and just have an even stronger pipe tobacco. And it's gone out again. I think I'm gonna relight this one more time and the next time it goes out, I think I'm gonna be all done. I'm gonna go and just tamp it down real quick. Just like that. There's not really much more to tamp down. It's not really tamping down much. I think I've pretty much hit the maximum tamp capacity of this uh, pipe tobacco in this pipe. And with that last light up, not really getting much from it. Let's see if I'm all done. If I'm not all done, I'm gonna try to get this lit up once again. I am confident in saying, oh, it's all ash, y'all. Oh yeah, that is, ooh, wow, that is all, oh, nope, okay. I'm seeing a little bit, but that little bit that's in there, it's still darkened. So let's go ahead and get all that out, just pour it out on the ground. Just trying to use my my little poker right here. This pipe is almost too deep for it. Alrighty, well, I think I got most everything out. I will use my flashlight after this video to make sure that I did. But just looking at the pile of ash on the ground. There were some unsmoked bits, don't get me wrong, but it was a very, very, very small amount. The vast majority of the stuff that came out was the ash. So there was a little bit more to smoke, but not much, not much. And I totally see why it wasn't really smoking very well, just because, well, there really was not that much more to smoke. It really was all ash, frankly put. So I'm gonna declare that as being an, uh, I'd have to say a 99% done smoke sash. Close enough for me, close enough for me. This smoke sesh, I will admit though, was a little bit longer than I really was expecting. We're at the 44 minute mark right now, around about. And I got the pipe lit up around the eight or nine minute mark, I wanna say. And so that means I've had over a 30 minute smoke sesh. I was expecting a 25 to 30 minute smoke sesh, not a slightly over 30 minute smoke sesh. I'll admit, the Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco actually did smoke a little bit longer than I thought that it would. It really did. But I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining one bit. I am just honestly surprised it did not burn a little bit faster. 
I'm sure there's some other even faster burning pipe tobacco out there or something like that kind of thing. Like I'm sure Japanese Kazami tobacco, some Japanese Kazami tobacco is even more finely cut than, um, than Five Brothers. But when it comes down to pipe tobacco, I think like Western, when it comes down to Western style pipe tobacco, I think Five Brothers really is the fastest burning pipe tobacco I know of. Maybe like Samosas, some shag cut like uh, Le Petit Robin. Uh, samosas. I haven't had it, but I've heard it's very finely cut. I've heard it's really good stuff. It's also a mainly burly blend uh, from, uh, if I remember correctly, like Belgium or the Netherlands or something like that kind of thing. I can't remember. But uh, I really want to try that stuff too. I've heard really good things about it. But maybe that stuff would smoke a little bit faster than Five Brothers. I'm not exactly sure. But either way, Five Brothers right now is the fastest burning Western style pipe tobacco that I have, uh, that I own, and that I've ever tried in all honesty. And uh, when smoked out of my largest pipe, I'll admit, it actually smoked a little bit slower than I was expecting. Still much faster than not. If I had smoked a flake cut or even a ribbon cut pipe tobacco, uh, like a lane 1Q out of my Missouri Meerschaum, the general, uh, it would have probably been over an hour long smoke sesh, frankly put. But with the Five Brothers, it was just a little bit over 30 minutes. I am honestly impressed. I am honestly impressed, y'all. Wow, I am surprised that it burned as long as it did. I am honestly impressed. Huh, interesting. Well, overall, I'd have to say, I'd have to say, kind of giving you all my little bit of final thoughts now, I'd have to say overall, I am surprised that the Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco smoked as slowly as it did out of my largest pipe. I'm honestly surprised it did. It's much faster smoking than not out of a smaller pipe, but I guess just with the capacity of my largest pipe, it just smoked a little bit slow, longer than not. Honestly, a little bit surprised though. I really did expect a 25 to 30 minute smoke session, but no. A little bit over 30 minute smoke sesh. I am surprised, frankly put. And um, other than that, how was this experience? Were there any big surprises? Uh, not really, there were really no big surprises besides the fact that this smoked a little bit faster, sorry, a little bit slower than I was expecting. Get my words a little bit jumbled up. Definitely was not expecting this to burn as slowly as it did, but uh, still burned much faster than not in comparison to many other pipe tobaccos for sure. Um, but, but, other than that, Anything else to mention? The taste was really good, really nice taste. Not super rough by any means. Pretty uh, good smoking pipe tobacco as a whole, I definitely have to say. And very nice buzz. Got a really nice buzz from the pipe tobacco for sure. Very enjoyable, very enjoyable buzz. I was feeling quite buzzed pretty much all throughout today's video and uh, especially towards the end. Five Brothers is some strong, fast smoking, good taste, and yeah, one dimensional taste and stuff. It's some solid pipe tobacco as a whole and uh, I think, honestly, the way I want to smoke Five Brothers in the future is probably out of my general pipe. It just smokes a little bit too fast for my personal preference out of one of my smaller pipes. So I think out of the general, I think it's probably just about the perfect length, like just over 30 minutes. If I just want like a quick pipe smoke sesh and I don't want a cigarette, I want pipe tobacco, but I don't want like an hour and a half long smoke sesh or like an hour long smoke sesh, but I want some buzz, I'm thinking... Five Brothers out of the general, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do this again. This is an experience I would totally 100% have again, no doubt about it. I would totally 100% have this experience again. Well, as a whole, this experience is a very solid one. I have to give this experience a solid four out of four if I do say so myself. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever smoked Five Brothers pipe tobacco before, and if you guys have smoked it out of a really large pipe, how fast it smoked, if you guys have done that. I'd have to say I am surprised that it smoked not as fast as I was expecting, frankly put, but I'm not complaining. It was a great smoke sesh. Very interesting. Very interesting, though. Well, I'm glad I, glad, I, glad I had the idea to make today's video, and glad I made today's video. Well, maybe it kind of depends, not just on depth of the pipe itself, but maybe just on, maybe just how deep the pipe gets, maybe as the pipe gets deeper. Or, oh, I wonder if what made it smoke slower. Oh, because there's a certain amount of ash on top and then once the ash gets on top kind of thing, you may be getting less oxygen and maybe it's smoking a little bit differently with more ash on top. So maybe with a deeper pipe, with the less ash, maybe it just smokes slower because of more ash. I'm not sure, I have no idea. That could be why it smoked a little bit slower than I was expecting. Interesting, interesting. I wonder why. I'm just kind of talking off the top of my head right now. I have no proof to back up any of my statements, but as a whole, as said, this is a much better smoke session than not. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have had a similar smoke sesh, and uh, let me know in the comments down below if there's any strong tobacco that you guys think I should try. I'm looking at trying uh, Samagalith uh, 
Black Twist XX whenever I can find it in the future. And uh, I'm looking to try some uh, Mac Baron HH uh, Old Dark Fired uh, and uh, HH Rustica uh, in the future as well. Hope to be able to try that stuff in the future. I've heard War Horse is really, really, really strong as well. Maybe I should keep that in mind as well. But, but, well, I think that's all I had to say. Yeah, overall, feeling great right now. Feeling buzzed right now. Having a good time. It was a good smoke. And I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. This was a much more interesting smoke session uh, for me. Finding out how long or how fast the uh, Five Brothers Pipe Tobacco wants to smoke out of uh, the largest pipe I own. Definitely interesting to find out. And uh, the result was surprisingly unexpected for me. Didn't burn super long, but didn't burn super slow either. It was surprisingly unexpected for me. Well, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video. If you guys have enjoyed watching today's video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. But, you know, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace, and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying?